On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make this peacock sparkle. The first thing I'm going to do to make my window card is I'm going to cut a frame. Now, on the inside of my card, I drew some guidelines. And the way that I knew how to dry, draw those guidelines is I laid my window plastic down on the card first so that I know I've got this margin around here. And then I used my ruler and I drew those lines. The great thing about my ruler is it has a steel edge on this. And I could lay that right onto the paper here. And with my pen knife, I can actually cut using the ruler as the guide. So I'm right on these guidelines. And then I just keep spinning my card around. And my ruler has these, this grid here, so I know that I'm cutting straight because I line the edge of the card up with the grid. And I just keep moving this around. And cut right through the paper. And if you're really careful, you can just pop that centerpiece out, and now I have a frame. So I'm going to set this aside, and then I want to stamp my image onto the plastic. So I have my little peacock stamp here, and I'm going to use some permanent ink. And I like using stays on. You just ink up your stamp, and then Press right into the center of the plastic here. Give it some nice, even pressure. When you pull that out, now I've got my peacock stamped onto the plastic. And you're going to let that dry. So that takes a few minutes to dry. And what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over, and then we're going to add some color to it. because you're going to cut this out. Okay, so here's my piece. All right, so flip that over. On a separate sheet of plastic, this is just a piece of shrink plastic, you want to squeeze out about a dime size diameter of diamond glaze per color that you're going to paint onto the peacock. So I'm using Marvy dye-based ink, and this is blue. And then I have light blue, just a drop, and then light green here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your stamped image and paint with the tinted di diamond glaze. So I've got the body of the peacock with this really pretty royal blue. And I kind of like to get the little pop of it. I think they call it a crown. And then you want to take a cup of water and just rinse it out, rinse out your color, and then start with another color. And we have this light blue. And I just plop the dots in. And what's great about this peacock is I don't have to worry about being pre precise with this. And you'll see why once we're finished. Now you notice I didn't paint everything in, and you'll see what happens in just a minute here. So next, while my paint or my diamond glaze is still wet, I'm going to take my snappy tray here with a little glitter, and this is Prisma glitter here. You're going to pour the Prisma glitter right on top of that wet diamond glaze, just like this, and you're going to let that dry. So I just let it sit for just a second. 
and then shake off the excess glitter. Now once this is dried just a little bit, it doesn't have to dry all the way through, I'm going to take my diamond glaze, and this is just plain diamond glaze, and I want to squeeze out enough to cover that whole tail of the peacock. And then you just paint the clear diamond glaze. You could paint over the whole surface if you want. And just be careful that you don't get too far out of the line. And I don't worry about his feet. And then you're going to bring in your Prisma Glitter, and now we're going to pour Prisma Glitter over the whole surface. And again, just shake off the excess. And now you can see where the plain Prisma Glitter looks kind of clear or whitish. It's a little bit lighter in color. And then you have the blue and the lime green and the royal blue for the body of the peacock. Now, this is going to take about an hour or so to dry, so we're just going to set that aside while it's drying. So I have my frame here, and I have my dried peacock, and I lay that down just like so, and I'm going to take a little bit of double-sided tape, and I'm just going to apply that right around the frame. And I usually apply the adhesive really close to the edge of the frame. Now the tricky part is to make sure that my peacock is going to show up in the right direction. So I just lay him in here like so, kind of keep him centered, and press down right along the adhesive. And when you're finished, you've got a framed peacock faux stained glass window. For this and other projects, visit our website. And remember, when creativity knocks, open the door.